Today we're going to look at Whitney's horse. She wanted to know how to bring her heels up and back. Uh, she started doing her horse with tact in the spring of 2020. And this is a picture after her first tact trim last spring. I would say you did a wonderful job on your first trim. I'm going to show some current pictures of your horse in a second. Um, I can tell what happened to your horse before you started trimming it was the old farrier left way too much toe and way too much heel. Everything was too long. The heel was too long. You can see with these separated lines here. And I could tell by the upside down pictures of your horse's feet that you also sent me that the buttress, there was just way too much buttress there. So what happens is the buttress collapses and the horse starts walking on the side of the buttress. Cause there's, so, there's okay. It's like this. If you had a platform shoe, it would go down like here and you'd walk on the platform shoe, but horses back of their platform shoe starts to collapse and run forward if it's too long. And then it starts to get rounded off just from walking on it. And they end up walking on the side of the buttress instead of getting a nice straight buttress. So I'll show you how to file that with the flipped over shot of the foot. But I want to show you the indications of this right here. If you see a stress line where it's not supposed to be, way down low on your horse's foot. Um, that's because the toe was left way too long and they're trying to walk and the heel, usually toe and heel way too long together is what I've been finding. I don't know who's doing this around the country, who's teaching this, but somebody, I'm this is like my seventh horse this year that I have been helping with this exact same issue. Now the other horses are all from the same former farrier. So we got two farriers here that are trimming the same way. Might be coincidence, but it also might be, my suspicion is, it could be how, oh, what's his face? Um, oh, should we get his name? I'll think of it in a minute. Um, Ogilvy, Gene Ogilvy. How he teaches to map the foot when you flip it over, um, I don't know, maybe him because um, he doesn't teach length of heel. He teaches to line it up with the end of the frog and file there, which would automatically put your heel forward. So I don't know. But. All I know is it's really, 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 really bad for the horse. So let's continue. 